Hello, I'm Oliver Colling, and this is the My 70s TV Childhood Quiz. Hello again, and a very warm welcome back to My 70s TV Childhood, The Quiz. This is our fourth edition of The Quiz, and it seems to be landing quite well with you, our wonderful listeners. Thanks for all of you who've been in touch, sharing how you got on. We had some pretty good scores last time, I have to say, and Lee C once again tops the list with a stunning 17 out of 20. So well done, Lee. Lee also managed to find the answer to our bonus question, as did many others, including Tim, George, Ken, Peter and Christine. Remember, you can let me know what you think of the quiz by leaving a comment on our blog at www.my70stvchildhood.com, posting on our various social media sites or just by emailing quiz at my 70s TV childhood.com. Commiserations to Lee M, who took my advice to start drinking heavily after round one of the last quiz, and his answers proceeded to go downhill from then on. Better luck this time, Lee. And before we get into this week's quiz, I'm delighted to let you know that we've been shortlisted for Best Film and TV Podcast at the UK Independent Podcast Awards for 2023. It's very exciting and the winners will be revealed at a glittering ceremony in London at the end of October. So thanks to all of you wonderful listeners for helping us to get this recognition. We have a really active and engaged community out there, and it really touches me that so many of you are listening to and enjoying our trips back to 1970s Britain. Okay, enough of the glitzy world of awards ceremonies, and on to this week's quiz. Are you ready? Have you got your pen and paper handy? Have you got a suitable beverage to hand? I've got a lovely cup of tea this week. Ah, lovely. So, let's play. Round one. And it's time to revisit the Wheel of Fate, our specially constructed device, which will choose a year for the questions in our first round. Have I mentioned the considerable expense we've incurred constructing the wheel for the show? Oh, yes, I have. Okay, okay. Right. So, let's spin the wheel. And we've landed on 1978. It's amazing that in four shows so far, we've always landed on a different year. What are the chances of that happening, eh? So, let me delve into our question bank and extract the questions for 1978. Here we are. Question 1. In January this year, ITV launched its popular An Audience With series. But who was the first Audience With? Question 2. Still in January, on January 2nd, 1978, the BBC broadcast the first episode of which science fiction series? Question 3. Which TV show had the most number of viewers in 1978, attracting 21.15 million viewers on Christmas Eve. Question 4. Which live programme attracted 18 million television viewers on the evening of 16th of November 1978? And question 5. And finally, which inexplicably, in my opinion, popular BBC variety show came to an end in July 1978 after... 30 years on our screens. Which popular BBC variety show came to an end in July 1978 after 30 years? Okay, how is that for you? Hopefully not too many arguments and disagreements just yet. So let's go on to round two. And this is our Phil Rouge round, in honour of when It's a Knockout became Just en Frontier on its summer holidays, on what we used to call The Continent. All of the questions in this round refer to things that we've mentioned in previous episodes of the podcast. So if you're a regular listener, I'd hope you'll be able to get most, if not all, of these. Question one. In our episode Five Minute Marvels, who was a very friendly lion? Who was a very friendly lion? Question two. In our episode Remember You're a Womble, we quoted Mike Batt, musical wombler extraordinaire, who said that the wombles were like a furry what around his neck. The wombles were like a furry what around Mike Bat's neck. Question three. We remember Blue Peter in our episode Get Down Shep. 
But who was my favourite lineup of presenters? And here's a massive clue. There were four of them. Who were my all-time great Blue Peter presenters? Our episode on Kenwood Green, Trumpton and Chigley, which incidentally is the most downloaded episode of all the ones that we've done over the last three years, included the soldiers at Pippin Fort. What was the name of their commanding officer? So what was the name of the commanding officer, the soldiers at Pippin Fort? And question five. In Here is the News, we remembered nationwide, and I mentioned that one of the presenters looked like my primary school headmaster. Which one? Which nationwide presenter looked like my primary school headmaster? Halfway through. I hope you're doing well, and if not, never mind. It's just for a bit of fun. Hang on, that sounds a bit like when my mother used to try and cheer me up as a child after Manchester United had lost a football match. She said, don't worry, it's only a game, which, for those of you who are football fans listening, generally only added to my anger and sadness in equal measure. OK, right, let's move on to round three. And back by popular request is our theme tune round, which many of you have really enjoyed, even if some of you have been driven to distraction by it. Ah, I know that tune, I know it, I know it, I know it. What is it, what is it? Oh! Okay, here we go. Number one. And now, number two. Great tune, that. I love it. And hopefully you'll all get this one. Here's number three. And now... Question four, this one is a little bit tricky. I'll be very impressed by the people who get that one right. And finally one that you're probably more familiar with, Theme Tune 5. Okay, a bit of a mix there, so I hope you've managed to get a good score. And so we're at the final round already. Okay, eyes down for a full house, and let's play. And this is our TV Times round, in which any kind of TV trivia from the 70s goes. Question one. Which comedian's trademark sketch involved using reflections in a shop window to create comic effects? Question two. In the detective series McLeod, we follow the adventures of Sam McLeod, a New Mexico policeman who gets posted to work in New York. But which actor played McLeod? Who played Sam McLeod? In cartoons, which bear was smarter than the average bear? So for question three, which bear was smarter than the average bear? Question four. In the BBC naval drama Warship, 
which ran from 1973 to 1977, which I really remembered staying up late for, even on a school night, because it was very exciting. We shared the drama of life on board a Royal Navy frigate. But what was the name of the frigate? So what was the ship called in the BBC drama Warship? And finally, question five. The comedy series Bless Me Father was a gentle comedy based around Father Charles Clement Duddleswell, a slightly irascible Roman Catholic priest. But who played Father Duddleswell? So which actor played Father Duddleswell? And finally, our bonus question for this week. And this is one where I want you to write in with the answers if you get this right. In 1975... ITV launched a thinly disguised British version of the Banana Splits, starring Rory the Lion, Bongo the Dog, Boots the Tiger and Twang the Monkey. The four actually rather scary creatures arrived at the start of each episode in their flying saucer from the planet Popland. They played a few pop songs, told a story and then flew off again in their flying saucer. Now, I'm not making this up honestly, so for those of you who remember, What was the name of this show? It sounds like I'm just making this up, but honestly, I'm not. What was the name of the show? So there we are, 20 questions. And while you're thinking about the ones you haven't managed to get yet, it's time to reveal the answers to last time's bonus question. So the last bonus question, we asked which child star who appeared in the Oscar-winning film How Green Was My Valley in 1941 went on to star in two of my favourite Saturday early evening shows, Planet of the Apes and The Fantastic Journey. Well done to those who got it right. The answer was, of course, Roddy McDowell. And let's go to our answers for this week. OK, round one. Our question's on 1978. In January this year, ITV launched its popular An Audience With. But who was the first audience with? It was with Jasper Carrot. Question two, which science fiction series was broadcast first on January the 2nd, 1978? And the answer was Blake's Seven. Which TV show had the most number of viewers, attracting 21.15 million viewers on Christmas Eve? It was from Norwich, it was the Quiz of the Week, and it was the Christmas edition of The Sale of the Century. Although I think some of you will probably be writing in to say that the reason that that got such a huge audience was because the BBC had a short-term strike on Christmas Eve that year. But even so, 21.151 million viewers for the sale of the century. Question four. Which live programme attracted 18 million television viewers on the evening of 16th of November 1978? And this is going to show that we now live in different times. It was the Miss World 1978 competition. Incidentally, it was won by Miss Argentina Silvana Suarez. And question five, which inexplicably popular BBC variety show came to an end in July 1978 after 30 years on our screen? And again, this shows what different times they were. It was the black and white minstrel show, which I have to say, and as I mentioned on the podcast, I absolutely hated. Not because I was aware of racist elements or undertones. I hated it because it was absolutely rubbish. Okay, round two. Our Phil Rouge in our episode Five Minute Marvels, who was a very friendly lion. And of course, that was Parsley, Parsley the Lion from the Herbs. Mike Bat, musical wombler extraordinaire, said that the wombles were like a furry anvil around his neck. That's not very nice, Mike. Shouldn't be rude to the talent. Question three My favourite lineup of Blue Peter presenters. And there were four of them which should have given it away to many of you. Valerie Singleton, Peter Purvis, John Noakes and Leslie Judd. What a dream team. Question four. Who was the commanding officer of the soldiers at Pippin Fort? And it was Captain Snort. Question five. Which nationwide presenter looked like my primary school headmaster? Well, it was Michael Barrett, who looked just like Mr Smith, our headmaster. All right, round three. Name that tune. Number one, Ivor the Engine. Pretty unmistakable, that one. Number two, theme tune that I loved, as well as the programme, it was The Protectors. Question three, and it was, of course, Vision On. And please remember, we cannot return your pictures, but there will be a 50 pence postal order for those we use on screen. 
or whatever she used to say. Question four. Now, this is a difficult one. Question four was a sitcom starring Hilda Baker called Not On Your Nelly. And she played Nellie Pickersgill, who went back to her father's pub to help him run the pub. Not On Your Nelly. So well done if you remember that one. Question five. That theme tune was that tooting revolutionary Citizen Smith. Okay, on to the TV Times round. Question one. Which comedian's trademark sketch involved using reflections in a shop window to create comic effects? And it was, of course, the late, great Harry Worth. Question two. Who played Sam McLeod and McLeod? And the answer is Dennis Weaver. Question three. And if anybody gets this wrong, I think they'll be in serious trouble. Who was smarter than the average bear? It was Yogi Bear, of course. And in the BBC Naval Drama Warship, what was the name of the frigate? The ship was called HMS Hero. So again, well done if you got that one. And finally, question five, the comedy series Bless Me Father, about Father Charles Clement Duddleswell. Father Duddleswell was played by Arthur Lowe. So, who's got 20 correct? Lee, have you kept up to your normal high standards? Let us know what you've got by leaving your comments on the blog or on social media or by emailing quiz at my 70s TV childhood.com and let me know what sort of rounds you might like to see in future quizzes. I'm always open to new ideas, so you can even send me some questions if you'd like. And remember, I have a quick recap on our bonus question. If I can do this without sounding mad again, ITV launched a thinly disguised British version of the Banana Splits in 1975, starring Rory the Lion, Bongo the Dog, Boots the Tiger and Twang the Monkey. The four creatures arrived at the start of each episode in their flying saucer from the planet Popland, played a few pop songs, told the story and then flew off again in their flying saucer. What was the name of the show? Answers on a postcard please to Blue Peter, Television Centre, London, W12, 8QT. Sorry about that. Couldn't help it. I can't be the only one who remembers that postcard 50 years on. Seriously, let me have your answers via email to quiz at my 70s TV childhood.com. So that's the end of our latest quiz. I hope you've enjoyed playing and thank you for listening. We'll be back next week with a new episode of the podcast and in two weeks' time with our next quiz. Don't forget to subscribe, like, rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts from. And join us again soon for more from My 70s TV Childhood and the My 70s TV Childhood Quiz.